Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Xander Corey here, and I am here to bring you a tutorial on VLC Media Player, which you can get from www.videoland.org. And I'm going to be showing you how to broadcast a video file or audio file through your local network or onto the internet. Um, it's a pretty simple process, but it does have some uh, parts which can be complicated. Um, my internet's acting up. We're going to go to VLC Media Player. It's uh, November 3rd, 2009, so uh, you could be outdated or you could be um, you have like a newer version, so it may not exactly be the same. If you're before this time and you're watching this tutorial pretty recently, then uh, upgrade and it'll be much simpler. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Media and we're going to go down to uh, Streaming. And then from Streaming, what we're going to do is we are going to open our media and we're going to press add and we're going to find the media which we'd like to open I'm going to open up Linkin Park Live for Rock and Ring 2007 because it was such a good one and uh, have that awesome scream at the end you know yeah never mind and uh, we're going to, it's a M4V which is basically a MP4, for, MP4 format why well, do I have trouble saying that each time and then we're going to uh, go down to stream which is down here in the bottom right hand corner and then from here, we are brought to our next window. Uh, we see that our source is, in fact, our source. Always verify. And then we're going to go to destinations. We're going to, uh, in our little destinations box, we're going to go to file, HTTP, and we're going to press add. And then this is where the first little complicated part comes in. Um, we need to add our computer's internal IP address. We find out our computer's internal IP address by being a total nerd or by going to start, run, cmd ip we're going to okay this is our command prompt by the way if you did not know this this is our command prompt we're going to type in ip config and we're going to press enter now i already know my internal ip address just because i'm a total nerd and well i set both ways at the same time anyway um i'm using an ethernet adapter and from here uh we i can see that my ip address is 192.168.2.2 um this can change if you're on wireless. If you're using a hard line, then it pretty much stays the same. Um, but it um, has other IP addresses in here. Say I have like four other ones. These obviously are not the IP address I want. You want a 192.168 number usually. That's what it's like. It, it can vary a little bit, but it's going to usually be a 192.168 number with uh, two variable numbers at the end. Um, so I want to take this number, and I'm going to put it right here, 192.168.2.2. Okay, and then we see that our port is set at 8080. Um, it's a pretty standard port for most programs to use. Um, if it turns out this port is not working, um, there's a few reasons for that that I'll explain later. But uh, for right now, let's keep it at 8080. And um, our active transcoding, we're going to want to change this to an MP4 because my file was an MP4 format. Um, there are some things you can you can like make a new profile, or you can delete the profile, or you can make a new select profile based on the format you would like to use and um, how you'd like to broadcast it, what bit rate and everything, based on your internet connection and stuff like that. If you have any questions, you can just send me a message and I might answer. And then from here, you're pretty much done. You press stream, and it will start streaming it over your local network, and you, anyone else who has VLC can... Um, watch it. That's one thing which is not so great about this is that um, you have to be using VLC or another program which can uh, connect to it. VLC works the best. It's one of the best programs out there. Um, you can throw almost anything at it and it'll play it. So um, what I was talking about before with the port thing, um, my router has been acting up a little bit but I'm going to try this. What we need to do is we need to do something called port forwarding. Um, it doesn't always work. Um, but like, uh, I'm going to log into my router real quick. Oh, good. It's actually might work this time. And, uh, if you're using a Belkin, pay attention because this is how you do it. Uh, we're going to go to our virtual servers underneath firewall and type in our password. If you don't know the password, ask your parents. And you can see right here that I have 8080 forward as a TCP type. And, um, you just get on here, you press apply changes and it'll open it. Also, you can use DMZ. A lot of people say, don't use DMZ. But uh, as you can see, this even says, don't use DMZ. It's not protected from hacker attacks. But um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe. I have it open. I have my network very secure. I'm a big network guy, so I'm not too concerned with it. Um, yeah, so 
Uh, I don't even need that one anymore. But, um, yeah. Uh, if you guys want me to, I can uh, personally set up your router to work for this. Um, if it works, it'll cost you $5. If I can't get it to work, I won't make you pay me. I don't make you pay me unless it works. Um, I do use PayPal, though. So if you want me to, send me a message on YouTube. Just be like, hey, I want you to help me set up my VLC player thing. You idiot, your tutorial didn't help me at all. And then um, I'll contact you via email. I pretty much have all the chat messaging things and Steam, of course. Unless you guys know me on Steam. And uh, stuff like that. So uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a message, leave a comment. I usually don't reply to comments because I lack ambition and stuff like that. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want me to help you out and you're willing to pay the $5 or you, or you can work a deal with me and stuff like that. That's cool, I guess. So uh, I don't know. Talk to me. Thanks for uh, watching this and wasting six minutes of your life. Hopefully this helps you guys. And peace out.